قرآن سب سے اچھا قرآن سب سے پیارا السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ We are coming to the end of Ramadan and we'll inshallah have read more of the Quran than we usually do. But as our beloved Hazur, may Allah strengthen his hand, has repeatedly pointed out, to truly reap the reward of Ramadan, we have to continue our good habits. We have to keep valuing the Quran in our daily life past Eid. Now how do we do this? There are two primary ways of valuing the Holy Quran in our daily life. The first is to read the Quran's Arabic script frequently, and preferably at Fajr. The Holy Prophet ﷺ is reported to have said that reading each letter of the Quran earns the reward of 10 good deeds. He specified that alif lam mim together don't count as one letter, rather alif is one letter, lam is one letter and mim is one letter, and reading every single one of those will earn you the reward equivalent of 10 good deeds. Now I've looked it up and apparently there are over 300,000 uh, letters in the Holy Quran. So if we even read a fraction of these every day, then we will inshallah earn a mets reward. But there is another even stronger way of valuing the Quran in your daily life and that is to live according to its teachings to enact what it instructs us to enact and to forsake what it instructs us to forsake because while reading the arabic script is blessed one of its purposes is to reinforce in our mind the teachings of the Quran and the importance of the Quran after all the Quran is a set of teachings to be acted upon not merely a collection of words the blessings of the words are in the teachings that they contain not the other way around thus while reading the quranic script regularly and with love is an important form of worship in and of itself it won't mean much if we don't act upon its teachings this is why the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that the likeness of a believer who reads the quran is that of a fruit which is fragrant and delicious and the case of a believer who does not recite the quran is that of fruit which has no fragrance but is sweet to the taste and the likeness of someone in the case of a hypocrite who recites the quran is that of fruit which is fragrant but tastes bitter and the case of a hypocrite who does not recite the quran is that of a fruit which has no fragrance and tastes bitter this hadith explains that we must both read the quran and act upon its teachings if we merely read it but do not act upon it we become hypocrites who have an external sweetness while being rotten within but if we act upon it but do not read it then we have an internal sweetness but we lack a spiritual fragrance thus to reach the highest stages of nearness to allah we must both recite the quran and act upon its teachings If we do this then we'll be ever closer to emulating the character of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam for when asked what his character was like Hazrat Aisha radhiyallahu anha said that his character was that of the Quran Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah